Here we go with today's mostly interesting, it's kind of gross. We're gonna start off with a creepy, crawly, pesky problem in Paris. Wow, Paris. I'm surprised I got through that. Uh, where the city of lights has now been dubbed the city of bite. Ooh. Ugh, Ooh. Those bugs have taken over. Spotted on public transportation, at the movies, and in public spaces, cleanup crews are now working overtime to eliminate the pests. And there's a big sense of urgency to get it done as soon as possible because, of course, Paris is hosting the Summer Olympics mm -hmm. in just 10 months. Yeah, don't worry about it. And they just had their, didn't they just have their fashion week, too? <laughs> what a great gown. Oh, look at Ooh. this. Oh, that is gross. Oh. Mostly gross. You don't think about it. You go to the movies, you know, and they now have those reclining chairs and you sit back and you don't think about it till you go home. <laughs> Ew, right? Yuck. Yuck. <sighs> Gay petty. <laughs> well. Turning now to a far more uplifting story. AT&T and Gallaudet University have developed a football helmet for quarterbacks who are deaf or hard of hearing. Oh, that's that's really, interesting. Yeah, it's really neat. The 5G connected football helmets allow a coach to call a play on a tablet from the sideline and then it shows up visually on a small display screen inside of the quarterback's helmet. Gallaudet, which competes in Division Three, was cleared by the NCAA to use the helmet on its game or in its game on Saturday at home against Hamburg's own Hilbert College. Yay, that is Very cool. neat. That's Very fascinating. Nice. It's inclusive, I like that. Listen, I'm glad I sat through the bed bugs so that I could listen to that. It was worth it. It was worth it. <laughs> Still to come on Most Buffalo, speaking of